Glory, hallelujah. Welcome to OITV, an amazing platform where you're going to be watching spirit uplifting content, beautifully coined for your upliftment and for your growth spiritually and in every other area of your life. You're going to be watching amazing messages and prayers and even all kinds of things on this platform which will be helping you grow from ministers of God that are anointed and are filled with the Holy Ghost, including myself. And as you share this thing, with all the people around you on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp and every platform you can find. I believe that the Lord will bring his word to pass and make manifest his glory in your life in the name of Jesus. Please stay tuned and keep watching OITV. It's going to be amazing. It's going to bless you. It's going to change your life. The word of God for your life in this season could definitely, definitely come from this platform. you to the second Sunday in the month of August. Today is the eighth day in the month of August. Today is so unique. 8, 8, 2021. 20, that means your blessing, your victory, your joy will be doubled in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm reading the book of Matthew chapter 4 verses 5 to 7. Matthew 5, 4, verses 5 to 7. Then the devil took him to the holy city, had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will give his angels orders concerning you, and they will support you with their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Verse 7, Jesus told him, it is also written, do not test the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Temptation with the scripture. That is the topic for today. Temptation with the scripture. The devil is vast in the scriptures. He is very, very knowledgeable. He knows the scriptures inside out. And he can be mischievous in the use of the scriptures as well. In verse 6, he quoted Psalm 91, verse 11, that he will command his angels to lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your feet against a stone but unfortunately he misused this scripture it is there it's there in Psalm 91 verse 11 he misused it and Jesus realizing this quoted another scripture to counter what the devil has said that it is also written do not test the Lord your God do not put him to test. And you'll find this in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 16, which reads, Do not test the Lord your God as you tested him at Massa. Hallelujah. The Bible says there is time for everything. Time to be quiet and time to speak. Time to be quiet and time to to speak. There is time for everything. If you find yourself in the time to speak out and you are quiet, you are undoing yourself. 
And if you are in a time to be quiet and you speak, you may harm yourself. This time around, it is time for Jesus to speak out. And when he realized that Satan had already misused the scripture that he quoted, he spoke in, uh, to counter it. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 16, Do not test the Lord your God as you tested him at Massa. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11 says, They conquered by the blood of the Lamb and by the testimonies of their mouth, by the word of their testimony. They conquered. At times, conquering comes when you speak, when you talk, when you open your mouth to speak the word of God. You conquer the devil. These are the weapons that the devil, the devil fear a lot. He fears them a lot. When he hears the word of God, he is disarmed. When you are armed with the blood of Jesus and the testimony of him, you will surely overcome. He says, when I see the blood, I will pass over. I will pass you over. When I see the blood, that's what God promised the Israelites when they were in Egypt. That when he sees the blood, so the blood of Jesus works wonders. Likewise, his words in our mouth also performs wonders. When he sees the blood, he has promised that he will not allow the angel of destruction to visit us. So I'm praying for you as you are listening to the sound of my voice today. Beloved, the Lord will mark you with his blood. His blood will cover you, will shield you, and will protect you from falling into any danger or any temptation in the name of Jesus. The Lord will fill you with his word. He will fill your mouth with his word. He will grant you unction to function. Where you are supposed to speak, you will not remain silent in the name of Jesus. And the Lord will confirm his word in your mouth in the name of Jesus. As you speak it, it will become functional in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord will help you to defeat Satan, even with his word in your mouth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I am His Eminence, Julius Messiah the Online Abbey, by the grace of God, the primate of the African Church. God loves you. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome back. I am blessed. You are blessed. We are all blessed through the prophetic ministration and shower of blessing, through the power of anointing of our Father. His Eminence, Julius, Olaika, Osayade, Habe, Jebi, Primate of the African Church. Till next month, edition why we come your way, may heaven's life continue to shine upon you, your endeavors, and our nation, Nigeria, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Marimu, Nishemi, Yotito, Tobati, Mu, OITV. Those who really truly love God and want to uh, uh, have their lives enriched with scripture in their life's journey should endeavor to be part of all the programs and I'm sure by the grace of God it's going to be a great blessing to you. One thing, one thing I know.